Welcome to the Media Hunt Report. I'm here with George Mastracostas, the head of an eco group. George, welcome. Thanks, Steve. Thanks for having me. Well, we've been doing uh, work for quite a few years now, yeah. and uh, during that time, your company has just grown and grown and grown. Tell us about the Hope Island experience, and even prior to that. Yeah, look, um, uh, Hope Island's been wonderful for us. Uh, you know, we've been out there for about four or five years now, uh, and we've been fortunate enough to deliver just over 600 pieces of product. Uh, we're in the midst of delivering the final two stages out there uh, and our townhouse development. Uh, so, uh, you know, which we anticipate completing somewhere around mid next year. That's yeah. quite remarkable, 600 yeah. plus pieces of product. Um, I, I guess that all really was spurred by, by COVID and the downsizes and, and so on. A lot of, um, where have you in, uh, buyers and investors come from? Yeah, look, believe it or not, most of the buyers in Hope Island are, are within all the Hope Island precinct. Um, you know, the Sanctuary Cove, Hope Island, downsizes from the immediate area. So George, you'd arguably be one of the leading developers on the Gold Coast, private developers. There'd be no one doing the amount of product that you're doing, particularly, you know, your, your Ford projections, you've got over $2 billion worth of product coming into the market over the next couple of years. Yeah, look, we're, we're very we're very pleased with the um, the product that we've brought to the market to date. And uh, clearly, we're, we're, we're very fortunate to have a very healthy pipeline of product coming up of very good product, you know. Um, you know, between Chevron Island and Mermaid Beach, um, especially with Mermaid Beach, I think we've secured one of the best sites on the Gold Coast, and we're looking forward to um, bringing that to fruition next year. So we'll get to Mermaid in a second, but we are actually uh, at Chevron Island right now, yes. and uh, you've redeployed your construction teams because you've pretty much wrapped up Hope Island, what's been a remarkable story for Hope Island. Um, tell us about Orama and how well that's going. Yeah, look, uh, from a sales perspective, uh, Orama's been great. You know, we. Um, uh, We've delivered a product that the um, the local area have responded to well. Uh, we've secured circa 100 million dollars worth of unconditional sales in that in that in that very short time frame that we've been on the market. Um, and more importantly, we're in a position now where we're starting construction um, today, actually this week. Um, and um, the main reason there for the what might seem like a holdup was purely um, allowing our construction teams to finish, or at least um, get one construction team out of Hope Island. Uh, with the completion of Athena Residences uh, to come here and, um, and focus on, on Chevron. Tell us about Mermaid, that's just phenomenal. Yeah, look, uh, Mermaid's obviously currently with, with Council uh, and uh, you know, we're, we're, we've worked very, very well with Council to get to the point where we are now and we're hoping for a favourable um, decision. Um, again, hoping for before the, before the year end. Um, but first, the, the opportunity's been, you know, I think as a developer, it's a once in a career opportunity, Mermaid, uh, to even secure a site of that nature in that location, uh, let alone um, you know, be in a position where it's come at the right time uh, for, for a group to take advantage of a site like that. Um, so we're incredibly proud. It's a big responsibility. That site is one that is a legacy um, uh, development for the Gold Coast, and we're certainly keeping that front of mind in every decision that we make with regards to it. You know, you will that first wall of high rise or significant mixed use development that you will hit as you drive up north from the Gold Coast Airport will be that one.